Hi everybody. Um, I want to do a quick video on the MTU settings for my uh, network router maximum transmission unit size. I made a video a while ago uh, for optimizing the speed of my ASUS router uh, on my BT broadband service and by playing around with the MTU size I managed to optimize uh, the broadband speed. A few people have asked me how I did that so I made, thought I'd make a quick video uh, of the few steps that you need to do. It's quite simple, uh, it's a little bit of trial and error, but it's definitely worth doing uh, for the increase in speeds that you'll see. I did it using the Windows command prompt, but you could use this uh, on a Linux terminal, it's very similar. Anyway, so look, I'll do this on a Windows terminal as an example. So here we are, open up the Windows command prompt. Let me just make the font slightly bigger so you can see that a bit easier. Um, I'll just Increase that to 20. Okay, yep, that's better. So the command line that you're going to want to use is uh, this. It's a ping command. Uh, so just taking you through the, the command. So it's ping uh, dash L for an option, which is payload size. Probably best to start with around 1500 uh, bytes, the payload size, and then set the fragment flag uh, to do not fragment. Uh, and then use an external server uh, to ping to. 8.8.4.4 uh, .4 is a Google server, so I'm gonna ping that. Uh, so just hit enter. So as you watch the results come up, it said packets need to be fragmented. So that payload size of 1500 is too big. As you can see, I sent four packets. I didn't receive any, so it's a 100% loss. So all you would need to do is go back and then go to somewhere lower. Um, so I'll just try 1200. So go two or 300 lower, press enter. Here you can see I'm getting a response from the server. Uh, I got all four packets that I sent were returned, so no loss. So I now know that my optimal MTU is somewhere between 1200 and 1500. You should also take into account when you set your payload size that the uh, payload header is 28 bytes. So the final setting you would need to add 28 to to get your optimum number. So uh, here we are at 1200. So I'll try now getting slightly smaller. I'll make it 1250 and press enter. Again, I'm getting a packet return, no packets lost. So I know that that is a a viable MTU size. I'll make it slightly bigger. Let's try 1270 this time. Press enter. Again, I'm getting the packets returned, no losses. So again, that is a viable MTU size. Let's try going slightly higher. 1280 this time and press enter. And now you're seeing it's fragmented. So I know now it's between 1270 and 1280. Uh, I'm just going to go very small increments now. So 1270, let's try two, 1272, press enter. And I'm getting a response. So that again, that's viable. I'm going to go quite small increments now because I feel I'm getting close to the optimum size. 1273, there we go, it's fragmented. So for me, I now know that my optimum MTU size is 1272. Press enter just to double check. Yep, that's returning. So my MTU size that I'd need to put in my router is 1272, not forgetting the header size, which is 28 bytes. So that would make my optimum MTU size as 1300. And that's gonna make sure I'm not getting any fragmented packets. I can send data as quickly as I can, uh, which means I'll get my, uh, I'll be able to make use of my um, maximum published uh, data internet speed. Anyway, I hope that helps and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.